my name is Ruth McLaughlin and I am Head of Innovation, Engagement and Enterprise Services for the College of Medical, Veterinary and Life Sciences at the University of Glasgow. My name is Eva McEwen and I'm a Graduate Apprentice RF Electronics Engineer. Graham Keith and I'm a Research Fellow in the Physics of Magnetic Resonance Imaging. David Rose and I'm Scientific Lead at the Glasgow Diagnostic Labs. We asked the secondary school students what questions they would ask. Someone working in precision medicine. Here is what they wanted to know. Dive into our mystery questions. Good luck. Good luck. It's a good luck. Good luck. <laughs> What's your job? So I work in development um, for our MRI of the human brain, developing techniques that allow clinicians and neuroscientists to be able to take high resolution images of the brain. Basically in charge of a team who oversees diagnostic testing of clinical samples um, in sort of a high throughput clinical setting. So I'm a graduate apprentice uh, RF electronics engineer, radio frequency electronics, so the frequency that MRI machines operate at. <laughs> uh, as you could tell from my title, my job is quite broad and has, has a lot of parts to it. Um, I work in the university and I'm here to work with the academics um, who do research in the university and to help them look at how we can move that research into the real world. Um, did you always want a career in precision medicine? Well, I'm so old that when I was at university, precision medicine wasn't a thing yet. Originally, I studied chemical engineering and I finished that and wasn't particularly um, too interested in pursuing that as a career, so I took a few years out. I went back and studied neuroscience and then subsequently biomedical science. And um, yeah, I'm re really happy now, but um, definitely wasn't what I originally intended as a career. I actually went to a STEM festival in my school and they had a stall about biomedical engineering, which was sort of a lot about bionic limbs and um, even cell, sort of cell engineering, very biology based, and that's sort of how I ended up on the track to doing um, RF electronics for sort of MRI machines. What do you wish people knew about precision medicine? I wish that people knew really how important precision medicine is going to be and how big a difference that it's actually going to make to, to everyone when this starts to become normal. At some point we won't need to say precision medicine, it will just be medicine. Do you get to use new or expensive tech? We have quite a lot of liquid handling robots and, and different sorts of RNA extraction machines that um, for sure I had never come across before working here. Have you ever gone in the MRI? What is it like? Uh, yes, I've been in probably hundreds of times at this point. Uh, one of the nice things about MRI is that it's very safe, it's not dangerous, so you can go in lots. Do you have friends at work? I have friends who are very senior academics professors um, in the, the college, I have friends who are involved in communications, I have friends who work in laboratories. Uh, a weekly football game, uh, we go to pub quizzes quite often uh, and we, we do lots of other uh, social activities outside the work so it's actually it's a really good uh, group of people and it's people from all over the world as well. What do you like about your job? It's always interesting, I feel like I'm always learning about other areas and what other people do and learning about the human brain. There's lots of variety um, in what I do and the different people that I'm working with or the different projects that I'm involved in supporting. My job doesn't just, my day doesn't look the same every day. Okay, so there's one more in here. We're on to the last question now. What career advice would you give your teenage self? Maybe tell my teenage self, go with the flow a bit more and don't panic when stuff starts to change. Maybe just accept a bit younger that, yeah, for sure there might be twists and turns that you're not expecting but it's all it, it, as long as you're in, moving in a direction you're interested in it'll it'll probably always work out the way you'd like it to i think i would tell myself that i didn't have to make a clear decision on what i wanted to be as a teenager i still don't know what i want to be to be perfectly um, honest mm -hmm.